What's up? I'm Ashley and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Monday where I take a movie that came out before my time. I was born in 94 by the way. So I, a millennial, go back and rewatch older movies that people have told me are classics that I should see. They're must watches. Blah, 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 blah. I give you a preview review of what I think the movie is going to be about and then we watch the movie together. Well, parts of it because copyright. And then I give you my honest review after I've seen the movie. And that's how Millennial Movie Mondays work. I know my Back to the Future 3 review. I said that I was going to go back and watch the prequels for Star Wars. Well, I'm a liar. I'll make it back to Star Wars. I really, really will. And I promise I will. I just wasn't feeling it today, you know? Anyways, my buddy Ken Heron, a couple weeks ago on his show, said I need to watch Raising Arizona. A lot of people agreed in the chat. So I got the movie. That's what we're going to watch today. So now for my preview review. I'm going to be real honest. Never heard of this movie before. Never heard of this movie before. So I just got to pull something out my butt right now to tell you what I think Raising Arizona might be about Raising Arizona. Is there gonna be a kid that they name Arizona and they have to raise it? Is this a movie in the Old West about creating the state of Arizona and making it is what it is today? I really hope that's not it. That is not up my alley at all. That's all I can gather from the two words of the title, Raising Arizona. That's all I can think of. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to images on Google and I'm gonna type in Raising Arizona. Okay, it looks like there is a baby involved. Is that Nicolas Cage? Is that a young Nicolas Cage? It looks like whoever that guy is, whoever might be played by Nicolas Cage goes to jail. That's all I can gather from the first little bit of images that Google provides me. So without further ado, since I know absolutely nothing about this movie, let's just go ahead and jump right into it, shall we? Is that a young Nicolas Cage? I think it is. You're a flower, you are. Just a little desert flower. Just a little desert flower. Why is that guy so sweaty and growl? <laughs> well, sometimes I get the menstrual cramps real hard. <laughs> no, I don't think that's accurate. I think you have gas, sir. So, maybe his advice is confused. Oh, he's gonna go rob the shop. But the flood of familiar sights, sounds, and faces almost made it feel like a homecoming. This Most guy. Great. Sometimes your career's got to come before family. Is that John Goodman? I love John Goodman. When there was no meat, we ate fowl. Why does he have a picture of JFK no in his mouth? Rehabilitation or revenge. He but did I was it again. To think he locked his feet in his car. He's sense. gonna run. Oh, okay. Why don't you rob the same place? Hear about the paddy wagon collided with the cement mixer head? Twelve hardened criminals escaped. 12 hard criminals. Cause it's a cement truck. But one day I decided to make my own crawdad. And I threw it in a pot. Without the water, you see? And it was just like making popcorn. Yeah, the jump. Cause we just want to hear the truth. Well, then I guess I am telling you what you want to hear. Boy, didn't we just tell you not to do that? Yes, sir. I feel like this is an 80s Napoleon Dynamite. I do. You bet I do. Okay, then. <laughs> okay, then. The job was a lot like prison. Except Ed was waiting at the end of every day and a paycheck at the end of every week. Government do take a bite, don't you? These were the happy days. The salad days, as they say. He's wearing socks with flip flops. I hate that. And we worked at it most other days, just to be sure. <laughs> I'm barren. At first, I didn't believe it. That this woman, who looked as fertile as the Tennessee Valley, could not bear children. I live in the Tennessee Valley now. Oh my God. But the doctor explained that her insides were a rocky place where my seed could find no purchase. I'm so done. I'm not even 10 we minutes into this movie. Aid. It's true that I has had a checker passed. But Ed here is an officer of the law twice decorated. So we figure it kind of evens out. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it makes sense in my mind. The pizzazz had gone out of our lives. <laughs> Ed lost all interest in both criminal justice and housekeeping. 
Same. I even caught myself driving by convenience stores. Don't you do it, Ed. That weren't on the way home. I mean, his name's not Ed. Who's this man? Florence had been taking fertility pills, and she and Nathan had hit the jackpot. Now, y'all without sin can cast the first stone. They're gonna steal one of these babies? Well, we thought it was unfair that some should have so many while others should have so few. That's exactly what they're gonna do. They're gonna steal one of these babies. Yeah, and if a frog had wings, it wouldn't bump his ass a hopping. I am sick of your excuses, Miles. <laughs> I'm gonna start using that. That's hilarious. Harry, Barry, Larry, Gary. Who's the other one? Who's the other one? I want to see the other name. He just pushed that baby. That's hilarious. Just pick one and go. They all look the same. Just pick one and go. Sound restless. How is she so skinny after having five babies? That's my question. Oh my God, just, oh, this scene kills me. Just pick one like an apple, just pick it and go. He didn't get one. You go right back up there and get me a toddler. I need a baby hive. I got more than I can handle. Oh, honey. I don't know, Nathan Jr., I think. Give me here. Here's the instructions. I forget that baby's coming with construction books. I think I got the best one. She'll get over it. She's got four little babies, almost as good as this one. <laughs> almost as good as this one. Did he just flip through it and then I'm dying. I'm dead. And now what do you do with it, you know? She is really pretty. I don't know who that is, but she is really pretty. Look at them looking at that baby. They're happy. I don't agree with stealing what babies, but kidding? like. We got us a family here. No, no, hang on, honey. Let's just preserve the moment in pictures. No, he's had a yes, big night. Okay. He just got stolen. Everything decent and normal from here on out. Where's it the bob you're on? Something tells me that ain't gonna happen. Something tells me that ain't gonna happen. Something tells me he gonna be back to being a scoundrel. Why is this happening? Is this childbirth? I feel uncomfortable. Oh, they escaped prison. That's what it was. They better stop yelling. How'd they get a car? They stole it. Got it. When we were tunneling out, we happened to hit the main sewer line. Dumb luck, that. And we so they be smelling like the... shite. Got you on an awful short leash, don't she, H.I.? They stole a baby. Be kind. Oh, God. Now he's going to get crotchety. He's going to start acting out again. Exactly. <sighs> he was horrible. What the hell is this? A man with all the powers of hell at his command. Mama don't love me. And laid to waste everything in his path. A bunny! Grenades? He was especially hard on the little things. The helpless and the gentle creatures. He left us. I don't know who this guy is yet. Don't like him. I don't know A flower. If he was dream or vision. Sometimes it's a hard world for little things. What kind of song was that? What kind of nightmare fuel was that? That's a $500 camel's hair coat. Uh, sir, sir, you might want to wash your hands at this point. God damn it! So the man on the motorcycle was real? Why is no one acknowledging him? So he's not real? He's not real. Why aren't you breastfeeding? You appear to be capable. Mind your own business. Man, True. You Mind your own business. You your fort later. So many social engagements. So little time. <laughs> oh, them loafers. Wow. Bougie. 
Get away from Mr. McDonough's car! That. That is why I don't want children. <laughs> shit, what? man. Listen up. What's the matter? Don't you get it? No, I don't get it. Well, shit, man. I guess that's why they call it a way homer. Why is that? Because you only get it on the way home. I'm already home, man. That's funny. <laughs> I'm already home. It's a crazy world. Someone ought to sell tickets. I'm sure, I'd buy one. Someone ought to sell I'm gonna start using that one too. You already, you already know the ABCs. ABCs. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> Art. But she's a Hellcat. Is that right? T I G E R. Don't rush. Tiger. She thinks you're cute. Yeah. I'm crafty. Are they gonna negative, swing? And I could say the same thing about it. They're gonna swing. And me and daughter swingers. As in to swing. I'll be out directly. What's he gonna do? Oh, he's gonna steal. Oh, he's stealing. That son of a bitch. Get out, drive away. Get out, drive away. Don't go in. Get you you son of a bitch! Better hurry it up. I'm in Dutch with the wife. You son of a bitch! I mean, he feels alive again, so good for him. Just leave the huggies and go, bro. Is there gonna be a dog? <laughs> Love a good dog scene. Hold on, Megan. She's gonna turn around and get him? No. This is like some Grand Theft Auto shit. Come from a long line of frontiersmen and oh, here it is, Dirk. Turn here. Where are they going? To pick up the Huggies. That's hilarious. No, we get caught. Either way, we're fixed for life. So they're gonna rob a bank. The husband and father. They made a pyramid out of beer cans. Deserve. That's fine. I don't know. $25,000 reward the for a kid when you got sure. four spares? Herbert. His name is Herbert. Go back to calling him hi. You want to find a Dunkin' Donuts, call a cop. <laughs> or me. You know that little baby you got in there? You remember him? I know what his real name is. You want to keep your voice down, Glenn? I'll pitch my voice wherever I please. His name ain't Hi Junior. His name ain't Ed Junior, but it's Junior, all right? It's Nathan Junior. You, you stay him. away from me, him. McDonough. Oh, yeah. You're an awful big man when you got something around to clobber a guy with. Their car bumper sticker says, Caution, I drive naked. Oh, God. Now the fugitives know. You know what's going on. It's just business. Let's go hard or easy, H.I. Huh? They're going to turn their car to <laughs> That scrawny Nicolas Cage did not just flip John Goodman. It ain't, it ain't real. <laughs> Yo, that does hurt. As someone who's almost six foot tall, have y'all ever done that before? That hurts. It's like when you stretch first thing in the morning, you get your hand stuck in the ceiling fan. Oh, it hurts. You gotta have the instruction manual. Balloons. Hey, these blow up into funny shapes at all? Well, no, unless round is funny. <laughs> Got some baby grub, baby wipes. Got them diapers and disposable cash. Where's the baby? Where's Junior? What do you mean? Didn't you put him in? No, I thought. They done lost a whole ass baby. They better slow their ass down. They're gonna run over. And even if we do get him back safe, I don't wanna go on living with you. I mean, he had to see that one coming, right? Had to. See all you know, those cheese posts on the ground? It's kind of made me hungry. All right, you hay seats, it's a stick up. Everybody freeze. They brought the baby in. Father, you want I should freeze or get down on the ground? I mean to say, if I nice freeze, I can't rightly drop. And if I drop, I'm going to be in motion. And that old man is so sassy. I mean, he's right. <laughs> Anyone found by Pedal and Five, where's his ass for a hat? This is the most southern shit I've ever seen. And I'm from Tennessee. Damn it. You never leave a man behind! Leave him behind! Yeah, 
car's gonna be blue stuff. That's so funny. Oh, I'm sleepy. It's a motorcycle, dude. Why do they have the same tattoo? leg but his foot oh she gave him back what the hell's going on just bringing your baby back get away from there well our home who actually eats celery and peanut butter for a movie i have never even heard of that was so funny and Nicolas Cage was a little cutie as a youngin'. My preview review wasn't too far off. There was a kid named Arizona and they had to raise it. I didn't know they were gonna steal it. I didn't know John Goodman was in this movie. Very cute. Some little zingers. Didn't know that his boss was gonna be a swinger. The wife was really pretty. What, what's her name? What is her name? Uh, Raising Arizona cast. Holly Hunter. She's really pretty. She's cute. Nicolas Cage as a redneck. What happened to him, okay? His acting in National Treasure wasn't nearly as good as the acting in Raising Arizona. And this was in 1987. This was Nicolas Cage playing an absolute redneck. What happened? What character development, honestly? Like, hi, that internal struggle with being a, an outlaw versus being a good dad versus being an outlaw with his friends versus taking care of a baby. And I really thought Ed was gonna steal, steal the baby back and like leave high and run off, but she returned the baby and he didn't call the cops. I would have taken the money though. Yo, that motorcycle dude was crazy. Why'd they have matching tattoos? What does that mean? Why was that never addressed? Did I miss something? I probably missed something. Why do they have matching tattoos? It was cute. It was funny. Why isn't it more talked about? It's pretty funny. If you've never seen Raising Arizona, it's very funny, especially if you're from the South because well, you saw. How many stars would I give this movie? I'd give it four. It's cute, but it's funny. Now my favorite one I've watched, but four out of five stars, think it's hilarious. Thanks for watching another Millennial Movie Monday. I know I said I was gonna watch the prequels for Star Wars, still not really ready for it. If you wanna know why I'm doing this, why I'm watching these old movies, there's a video card up above that you can click to find out why I'm doing this. And you can also leave comments there for videos I need to watch. Until then, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, let me know what you think I should watch next. All right. Bye. <sighs> Don't bite me, Beans. I know you're hungry. I'll feed you in literally five minutes. Stop. Stop biting me. Yo, crotchety bitch.